In this video, we shall talk about sets and we shall introduce your fundamental number sets in mathematics. So a set is a group or collection of objects. We define it in the following way. We can define a set by listing the elements of a set. Or we can define a set by stating the essential character of the elements of a set. So by listing, this is what we do. We collect the elements of a set, we put them in braces, we separate them by comma. By the rule method, this is how you say it. A is equal to X such that X is a day in a week. It sounds awful. It doesn't sound like the normal language spoken by a person, but that is math. That is math language. We can put it in ordinary English language, so set A is the set of days in a week. E. E is a symbol for membership, and Monday, for example, is an element of set A. So, this one, E with a dash or with a cross, is a symbol for non-membership. January, for example, is not an element of A because January is not among the days in a week. What else? What must we remember when we are constructing sets? Well, we use capital letters to name sets. We collect the elements inside braces, a pair of braces. We separate the elements by a comma, and we do not repeat the, the listing of elements. For example, this one, A is equal to okay, the set containing I and E. We can write it in rule method. This is how you write it in rule method. A is equal to X such that X is a vowel in the word Philippines. Or we can write it in plain English language. Set A is the set whose elements are the words or are the vowels in the word Philippines. What are the fundamental number sets? You have the natural numbers or the counting numbers. These are the numbers 1, 2, 3, and that symbol means so on and so forth up to infinity. This is the uh, stylistic uh, notation for the set of natural numbers. Sometimes we just write it in this way. But some books, they prefer to write the set of natural numbers using this letter. Whole numbers would be the set of counting numbers and then we add zero. That's the symbol. The set of integers. So that would be the set of counting numbers plus zero, plus the set of the negative of the set of counting numbers. So our symbol for that is Z, okay? Sometimes uh, it's written this way. This one is read as double Z, double N. So inside our set of integers, we have positive integers, which are the same as your uh, counting numbers or natural numbers. We also have the set of negative integers the negative of the set of natural numbers. So in my education in math, these are the symbols they are using for the set of positive integers. This one for the set of negative integers, this one. But zero is also an integer. So it's like zero is an element of a set that contains one element. Okay, so our symbol for that set would be this one. So this is the set whose element is the integer zero. What else? The rational numbers. It is the ratio of two integers. Or you can describe it as the set of all terminating decimal numbers. Or they could be non-terminating, but they are repeating decimal numbers. In which case, they are rational numbers. So this one, 3 over 4, is visibly a, a rational number. It is a ratio of two integers. The same with this one. This one is a ratio of two integers. It can be 6 over 1. It can be 12 over 2. A terminating decimal. This one is a non-terminating but repeating decimal. That is our symbol for repeating digits. Two-thirds is visibly a ratio of two integers. But this one, some of you or many of you attempted to, to put this in a calculator and you are you were surprised why the value is something like 0.6666667, so on and so forth. So the 7 there is the rounding part. So this one is a non-terminating but repeating decimal number. 
Our symbol for rational numbers is Q. Or sometimes this. They, they call this the double Q. What about the irrational numbers? Well, those that cannot be written as a ratio of two integers. They are the set of non-terminating, non-repeating decimal numbers. So you're familiar with this three. This is the pi. This is the Euler's constant. Okay, And this is your phi. Square root of two. It's an irrational number. Square root of three is an irrational number. Square root of five is an irrational number. But hey, where is square root of four? Well, square root of 4 is not an irrational number. It is a rational number because it's equal to 2. The square root of perfect squares are not irrational. The square root of perfect squares are not irrational. So the square root of 4, the square root of 9, they are all rational numbers. How about this? The cube root of 2. Okay, so 2 is not a perfect cube. So the cube root of 2 is an irrational number. So... The cube root of perfect cubes, they are rational. Let's say, for example, 8. The cube root of 8 is equal to 2. Okay, so this is your pi. And it is, it is a constant that appears in relation to circles. It's the ratio of the circumference of a circle over its diameter. This is what you call Euler's constant. And you saw this in your natural exponential function. So the Euler's constant is the base in your natural exponential function. Phi. Okay, so this one, you saw this in the Fibonacci sequence. This is the value of the ratio of consecutive Fibonacci numbers. It approaches this value. So phi is the golden ratio. What is our symbol for the set of irrational numbers? Well, uh, from my math math education i don't always see the symbol for irrational numbers but i can remember this one being used as a symbol for irrational numbers what does this mean this means the set of numbers that is not in the set of rational numbers okay so we are talking here about the 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 universe of the real numbers so inside that set of real numbers those who are not in this set are called irrational numbers so sometimes you can write the symbol for irrational numbers in this way. What is the set of real numbers? So it's the union. It's the union of rational numbers and irrational numbers. These are our symbols for the set of real numbers, the capital R or the double R. So let us produce or let us show a schematic diagram for the fundamental uh, number sets. Okay, so the smallest set that we have introduced is the set of natural numbers. The set of natural numbers is contained in a larger set, the set of integers. But these numbers here that are not in N, those are your negative integers. And one among them, of course, is your zero. There is another larger set that contains the integers. This would be the set of rational numbers so the elements here the rational numbers here are numbers that has a decimal part another set that is bigger than the set of rational numbers would be your set of real numbers so the set of real numbers contain all of uh, your rational numbers plus the numbers here outside q what are they they are the set of irrational numbers